You know, in this letter to Timothy, Paul is like writing and sharing his heart with his protege, with someone that he's really seeking to not only disciple, but see set up for his greatest success in life and ministry. So these pastoral epistles, as Timothy and Titus are often named, are so insightful into the heart, the calling, the ministry of Paul. Listen to what he says in 1 Timothy chapter 1, starting in verse 15. This is a trustworthy saying, and everyone should accept it. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, and I am the worst of them all. You know what I love about this? Paul is one who is brilliant. You could say he's genius. He authored much, if not most, of the New Testament. God used Paul to take this kind of rabble, this group of disciples, this small insignificant group of individuals who were following Jesus. Well, God used Paul, his life, his ministry, his travels, to see Christianity become a worldwide movement at that time. It's amazing. And as he's passing on his life lessons, what's most important to him? This is what he says to Timothy. Hey, this is a trustworthy saying. Everyone should accept it. Jesus has come into the world to save sinners. And it's like he's saying, the longer I've walked with him, the more that I realize, and I need him the most. You see, the longer you walk with Jesus, the more you realize you need him. Not just for a a get out of hell card, just for salvation. You need him for every day, every moment, every new adventure, every new endeavor, he's with you. And I wanna encourage you today, Jesus, he loves you. This is a trustworthy saying. He died to save you, no matter who you are, what you've done in your past. Jesus loves you. He's forgiven you. Walk with him. Enjoy a relationship with him. And get to know Jesus Christ, who as this word says from Paul to Timothy, he's the one who saves sinners. And I'm so thankful he does. Thank you.